you're going to need a sword striping brush. It has a top and a bottom. Some enamel paint. I use one shot paint. Some white spirit or something to thin the paint. Wash your brush out and gently dry with a paper towel. Stir your paint and put some on some glossy paper, like a magazine. Pallet the paint fully into the brush, add in a little white spirit if needed. shouldn't feel sticky or drip off the brush. This is called palleting and it takes a while to get right. Hold the brush between your thumb and index finger with the wooden knob of the brush to the left. Gently lower the tip of the brush onto the practice panel while supporting your hand with your other fingers. Once the tip is on the panel, begin to pull the brush slowly towards you. end of the line, stop and slowly remove the tip from the panel. Repallet the brush and pull some more lines until you start getting even consistent lines. to the brush at the start of the line and gradually lift as you pull the brush towards you. They sometimes need a little touch up just to even them out. Curved lines are similar to straight lines, but you need to slightly roll the brush between your thumb and index finger in the direction of the curve. The tighter the curve, the more you need to roll. until you have nice smooth curved lines in both directions. S curves are two curves linked together. The trick is to reverse the roll of the brush as you change the direction of the curved line.
Keep practicing these until your transition between curves is smooth and flowing. In the next section, all I'm doing is painting one curved line at a time, mirroring each line as I go. It helps me if I work from the top centre of the design and work down. This helps keep my fingers out of the wet paint and avoid smudges. Draw the complete design on the panel first and use that as a guide if you wanted to, but I prefer to make it up as I go along. your brush out as best you can in a general white spirits. Then palette some mineral oil into the hair of the brush and store it laying flat. If you have any questions feel free to ask them in the comment section below and I'll try to help you. Thank you for your time and for watching. Feel free to like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram or whatever.